Alright people, it's almost October, you know what that means. Time to release all your horror movies before October. Perfect idea. Just, yeah, eh, who cares? We got Halloween next month anyway, yeah baby! Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another movie review and this time I'm talking about a little movie called Hellfest which of course is a horror movie that is rated R and and it is a slasher movie we don't get too many of those in theaters so I was kind of excited for this one even though the trailers made it look extremely generic uh, but I was still excited I was really hoping this would be good I mean it even has a decent premise where it is set entirely inside a spooky carnival, you know, with tons and tons of creepy costumes and jump scares and stuff, which, I mean, we see that a lot in horror movies nowadays, jump scares, but it could work with something like this. So I was hoping it would be good. It looked like it had the potential. I mean, the trailers themselves weren't that great, but I could see the potential. I could see it. Was it good? Nope! Now, that's not to say I saw a bad movie today, because I really didn't. I just saw a mediocre one that was like 50% pretty good, and 50% eh, not terrible, but just like forgettable, extremely forgettable. I did not see a terrible movie. Uh, when it comes to the good, there is actually a few things that I would actually consider good about this movie. First of all, we have the acting, which uh, was not bad. It was, it was perfectly acceptable. Everybody did a fine job. Uh, the characters were kind of stock characters, you know, those kind of characters that you expect. You have a couple bro characters. Characters. You have one flirty chick, you got one of those uh, rebel chicks that's just like, yeah, yeah, let's get fucked up, you know, one of those characters. Then you got the, the main character who's like the kind of shy girl. Then you got the guy that's fawning after the shy girl who's also kind of shy. So you have all these generic characters. But what I will give the actors and the writing some credit here is that they actually made them more likable than characters like the characters from Truth or Dare. You know, those characters were completely despicable and I hated every single one of them. Here you actually had a, you know, a couple funny lines, you had a couple of moments where I actually felt like, oh, there's actually a real friendship here and they felt like real people for the most part. Um, so I give them credit there. Not great characters, not great acting, but tolerable, serviceable, decent. And that's, that's saying a lot for a movie like this nowadays. Now, like I said, the movie is R-rated and it is a slasher movie, so people do die and when they do die, for the most part, the kills are very violent and actually a little a little bit, you know, not inventive, but they actually use the carnival setting for a couple of these kills, which I, I give them huge credit for. Huge credit. Because they could have easily just been like, oh, the carnival, yeah, there's some jump scares and stuff. Here's a couple of costume guys and they're jumping out at the camera. And then when it gets to the kills, it could just easily have been like, oh, she got her throat slashed or oh, she got stabbed in the face or something like that. And there's a couple of those, don't get me wrong, but there's a couple of them where like someone gets their head smashed open with a, one of those strongman mallets, you know, the one where you have to test your strength and hit the bell all the way up. Uh, there's a, I don't want to spoil any other, but that was just an example. And <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong, it definitely was not a spoiler because it's an actual it's a really awesome practical effect actually i give them credit it looked great um and there's actually a couple other ones that are really you know gross and you know oozy when it comes to blood you know all the good stuff you know oozy that's a word no one uses too much oozy is that even a word that's a gun ooze ooze is a word whatever you know what i mean and probably the best part of the entire movie is the production design when it comes to the carnival itself it is its own character, that's for sure. When you are expecting a jump scare, it's a jump scare that is actually built into the carnival. So it's actually supposed to be like they're going through a maze and then a couple of the workers in this carnival jump out and stuff. And even though that could, that sounds like it could be annoying, especially to someone like me that hates jump scares nowadays, it was actually fun. It wasn't scary, it was, supposed to, it was actually fun because... They implemented it in a they implemented it in a fun way, um, where it actually made the characters like uh, jump out and go oh shit and like even characters will start saying like this shit ain't scary and then out of nowhere <laughs> a, a guy with a chainsaw goes Brrr, and then they all jump away. It was it was fun to watch uh, the characters interact with this carnival and the costume design and the set design and stuff. I, I was wondering if this was actually like they filmed at a real carnival because some of this stuff looked 
awesome like really grotesque and really creepy uh the lighting was great uh there's some really great stuff like some like bodies hanging from meat hooks and you see like there's one point where it looks like some like nazi scientists like dentist or whatever is like doing experiments and stuff it's, it's weird stuff there's a lot of really weird and creepy stuff there's one point to to get a map in the uh, carnival they have to reach their hand inside a, a fake human body and it's like there's blood and guts inside so they have to reach it's really fun stuff it's actually really fun to watch uh all this uh production design really come into uh the movie and actually mean something you know it's not just oh look at the background stuff that's cool they actually did stuff with all that really fun stuff the the costumes the design of the sets and stuff just little things you know it was really really cool so that's easily my favorite part of the entire movie is the actual carnival hellfest hellfest was my favorite part of hellfest Go figure. Now we get to the negatives. Now I don't actually have too many negatives. I have about as many negatives of, as I had positives. Uh, when it comes to negatives, sadly the movie itself it just really fizzles out towards the end. Like the first 20 minutes are kind of slow because they're setting up all the characters and like, hey girl, you want to go to Hellfest? And they introduce all the characters and it's it's generic, but then it actually starts getting really good when we get into Hellfest and we see all the creepy costumes and fun little jump scares. Uh, and then later on, it starts to become just a generic slasher. People start getting stabbed and, and everybody's running away. I, I really enjoyed it when it was like a, not a mystery, but it was like a, oh, no one thinks this is real. Like, because this, this, this uh, carnival is like, very extreme. Uh, so when someone sees someone getting stabbed, they they think it's a part of the attraction. They're like, hey, bravo. So I really enjoyed that. But then later on, last like maybe 15 minutes 20 minutes becomes a generic slasher to the point where i felt like the movie knew it was running out of time and they had to kill off a couple characters really quick so th there's like a moment where two characters get kill killed off like that i was like okay like i guess the movie realized that oh, we only have like 15 more minutes we got we got to take out a couple guys um so that was really strange that they uh, did that it was very abrupt and it wasn't even like a satisfying kill it was just like oh all right I don't even know if they're dead. Are they actually dead? I don't even know. They didn't confirm. Oh, actually, I think they did confirm, but whatever. Um, it, it was weird. And that's not a spoiler. I just want to tell you guys that there's really... Towards the end, it really starts to fizzle out. And, and it really does. So if, if you think I'm spoiling it because, you know, I'm saying that people die in a slasher movie, then you really should stop watching those freaking supernatural horror movies because people die in slasher movies. That's that's the thing. I know The Nun had, like, what, one death in it? And it was, like, the first five minutes of the movie? Watch some slasher movies. You'll get some good-ass kills, baby. And even when it's not fizzling out and it's actually really fun, there are generic things about it that I just don't care about. Certain tropes, like, you know, character decisions, which they make dumb decisions, especially towards, like, the end of the movie, when they could easily take down the bad guy, who's this, just this dude with a hood and a crappy-looking mask. Uh, I guess it's better than the babyface guy from Happy Death Day. But it, it's just so generic, like for the most part when it comes to the slasher portion uh the again the set design is all original stuff but then when it cuts back to the villain character and he's just standing there looking evil and uh he's doing his little thing i guess his whole thing is he uh he sings pop goes the weasel before he's about to kill someone okay um <laughs> and then there's a reveal at the end which is supposed to be like a oh and i was just like eh, whatever <laughs> like okay, i've seen that kind of twist ending before and get the hell out of here uh the collector did something like that a little bit better so get out of here get get out of my face with that stuff um and i don't know i guess the writing is still it's not great it's generic um a lot of the kills later on in the movie aren't really too terrific either uh it's just a it's a it's a problem with this type of movie where you just you have like I feel like a lot of directors feel like they have to go down the generic route even though they had some really cool they they decide okay we have to end it in a, a generic way where we have a couple characters hiding from the killer and the killer stalking them it's just generic stuff and it really becomes boring towards the end I'm not gonna lie even the set design starts to dwindle down you don't really focus on it too much um overall Hellfest it, it's a it's an average movie it's not terrible it's not great it has good qualities, it has bad qualities. It is the definition of a just a just a straight up twenty out of forty. And that's what I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a twenty out of forty. Um, that's what I, I give from zero to forty because I'm stupid. If you don't know, that's a five out of ten. It's the definition of just borderline average, just right there. Has some good, has some bad.
mm, right there. Mm, right there. I really like the set design stuff. That stuff was great. But anyway, there you go. That is my review for Hellfest. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check it out, you know, if you really want a horror movie. It's better than the none, I think, at least. So there you go. Bye.